is a great deal of criticism, ladies and gentlemen, of this movement. It always seems to me when the anti-suffrage members of the government criticize militancy in women that it is very like beasts of prey reproaching the gentler animals who turn in desperate resistance when at the point of death. Criticism from gentlemen who do not hesitate to order out armies to kill and slay their opponents, who do not hesitate to encourage party mobs to attack defenseless women in public meetings. Criticism from them hardly rings true. Then I get letters from people who tell me they are ardent suffragists, but who say they do not like the recent developments in the militant movement and implore me to urge the members not to be reckless with human life. Ladies and gentlemen, the only recklessness the militant suffragists have shown about human life has been about their own lives and not about the lives of others. And I say, here and now, that it has never been and never will be the policy of the Women's Social and Political Union recklessly to endanger human life. We leave that to the enemy. We leave that to the men in their warfare. It is not the method of women. No. Even from the point of view of public policy, militancy affecting the security of human life would be out of place. There is something that governments care far more for than human life, and that is the security of property. And so, it is through property that we shall strike the enemy. Be militant, each in your own way. Those of you who can express your militancy by going to the House of Commons and refusing to leave without satisfaction, as we did in the early days, do so. Those of you who can express militancy by facing party mobs at cabinet ministers' meetings when you remind them of their falseness to principle, do so. Those of you who can express your militancy by joining us in our anti-government by-election policy, do so. Those of you who can break windows, break them. Those of you who can still further attack the secret idol of property so as to make the government realize that property is as greatly endangered by women's suffrage as it was by the Chartists of old, do so. And my last word is to the government. I incite this meeting to rebellion.